Hey everybody, Courtney here from How to Loom Your Dragon. Today I am going to be beginning to be beginning a dinosaur series because I have been getting a lot of requests from people to do dinosaurs. So the first one we will be doing is the T-Rex. Yay! This tutorial is dedicated to Angela Cahoon and her daughter. Angela shared a really um, awesome story with me. She was in the hospital and um, her daughter brought her um, all her rainbow loom stuff so she could make the big Chinese dragon that's on my channel. And the doctors didn't want her to leave till she finished it. <laughs> so that was a really cool story. Thank you so much, Angela, for sharing that with me. I love hearing stories like that on how my designs are um, giving positive impact on people. Now this guy isn't as hard as the Chinese dragon, that's for sure. But uh, he is really cute. So for this guy, you only need one loom. You also need two C-clips or S-clips or any type of clip really. And I also recommend that you get 16 and 20 gauge wire, which, and the reason is because we will be able to pose him with wire. Okay, so he can sit, he can open and close his mouth. So it's really cool if you get wire so you can pose him. The 16 gauge is thicker and the 20 gauge is a thinner wire. All right. So that is recommended. As far as bands go, you'll need five pink bands. That is for his tongue. You'll need 16 white, which is for his teeth. You'll need about 390 of the body color. On this guy, it is the jelly red. But on this tutorial, I will actually be using the caramel brown for the body color. You'll need 100 of the stripe color if you want to put stripes on him. For me, I'm using the burgundy brown, which is a darker brown. Okay. If you do not want to put stripes on him, you'll just need an extra 100 bands of the body color. Okay, so instead of 390, you'll need 490. You'll need 60 of the stomach color. For me, that is white. You'll need 24 of the claw color. For me, that is black. And you'll need two of the eye color which is, for me, for this guy, I used the, I think it was the neon green or the lime green, but um, for this guy I'm doing, I'm gonna be using blue, okay? And you also need four black um, for the nostrils and the pupils, okay? So that being said, in this video, there will be points when I tell you to go back and remake a body part, but you do not need to use symmetry for this guy. So, for example, I'll be making one leg with you, then I'll tell you to go back and make the second leg. Same thing with the arm. Okay. Um, also, I recommend that you have a holding hook or a toothpick, something to hold extra bands on. Crochet hooks work great. You can also use toothpicks. Okay. Um, and also, make sure that you check me on Instagram and Facebook, which is in the, li in the links in the description of this video. Post pictures of the dinosaurs especially since you can kind of make him whatever color you want, use up the colors you, 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 you've had for a long time and don't know what to do with, so definitely post pictures. I'd love to see all the colors that you guys um, make your dinosaurs with. All right, so let's begin. We're going to start with um, the lower jaw and the tongue. Okay, so in order to do that, we're going to have to make some teeth. So grab a white band. And all I'm doing is with a holding hook, you are just going to wrap it so that you have five loops around the holding hook with the band. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, five. Okay, I have five loops. Okay, make sure you have five loops with the white. You want to make 16 teeth, so I recommend you put them all on the holding hook. Okay, that's what I did. 16 of those. And then we're going to make his little tongue, which is very simple. Take two pink bands. Then you want to double loop a pink. And double loop a second pink. And then you are going to cap off with the pink. I wrap it around creating five loops. Okay, you can do four. Five is always better because it results in a tighter looking tongue. All right, we're going to loom up. And you're going to grab any color band um, that you're not really using in your project. I'm just going to use pink here since, no, I'm not going to use pink. <laughs> just kidding. I'm going to use white. 
because I'm not really using too much white in him. Um, and all you want to do is just tie off your end by doing a slip knot, and you can pull that off, okay? And that kind of just keeps it together so we can use it in a little bit. All right, so you can put that aside temporarily, and let's work on the lower jaw, okay? So you're going to take two of your stripe color, all right? Then you're going to take two body color, and two stripe color, two body color, and two body color again, just like that. All right, I'm going to take two body color here, and two more here, two here, two here, and now I'm going to be double looping, okay, body color. Okay, and then we're double looping toward the center. Same thing on the other side. All right, I'm going to cap off this end by wrapping around a body color band, creating five loops. And then you want to take two body color right here, and two more right here. Then we are going to double loop a body color that goes right there. And another one is going to go right here. All right, we're going to begin to loop this. So I'm going to go underneath my capping band, all five loops. You're going to grab the top set of double looped bands, loop those over, grab the second set, loop those over. Always wanted to go top to bottom. And then grab the bottom set. This we can loop up to here. Once we reach here, we're going to grab our tongue. You're going to put your hook through the loops that are being tied off, so through the pink loops. Make sure you go through the loops and not in between. Do not go in between. Make sure you follow that tying band through the loops. And then you can wrap the loops right around this peg. And once you've done that, you can loop up that final set. All right. Here, I'm going to loop up once on each side. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my holding hook with my teeth on it. I'm going to use it to lift up the top two bands that I just looped up. Okay, so lift up the top two, and what you're going to do is you're going to drag over one of the teeth onto, that, onto those bands. So just lift them up and over onto those two bands, and then replace them back over that peg. All right, we're going to do the same thing on this side. Lift up the top two bands, pull over your teeth onto them, and then replace. The reason we're doing that is because we could technically wrap it or wrap the tooth around these pegs and these pegs and these pegs, but when you loop it, your double looped band might break. So this is a way to make sure that the double looped bands won't break. All right, we're looping up again, and we're going to do the same thing with it with um, two more teeth. Pull the tooth on, replace, again, Do it one more time. Whoops, sometimes that happens, it might come off. Just, you know, be patient with it.
All right, so once you've done that, we are again going to tie off these three ends at the top. All right, so I'm just gonna use these pink bands, any color. It doesn't matter what color because you'll be taking them off. It's just to hold the body part until we attach it to the body. All right. And then we can take off the jaw. Alright, so it should look something like this. Once you've pulled it off, you can take off the band that's around the tongue. Okay, so you should have three tying bands left, which are at the end of the lower jaw. Perfect. Okay, so put that aside. And now we're going to be working on the head and neck area. So you're going to grab two of your stripe color. Right there, two more. Stripe color, then you're going to grab your body color, two of your body color. And again, two more. Two more here. I'm going to take a double looped of my body color, stretching it across these two pegs, and another stretching across these two. All right. Grab three of your stripe color. Like that. Grab three of your body color. Three of your stripe color. Now we're going to grab two of your body color, two more, and two more, like that. All right, now we're going to grab two body color, and that's going to go diagonally there, and then two more here. Let's do that on the other side. Two going diag oops, diagonally here. Two going here, and let's put two more here, and two more here. All right, we're going to double loop single body color. Continue to double loop. And then we're going to angle down to here. Same thing on the other side, so double looped, double looped double looped, double looped. Let's cap off our end. I'm wrapping a body color around the tip, creating five loops with it. All right, we're gonna make our eyes, okay? So you're gonna grab, grab your hook, grab your body color. You're gonna wrap a body color around your hook, creating five loops with it, like that. All right, we're gonna do that two more times. like that. Now you're going to double loop a body color onto your hook. And you're going to pull all three of those bands onto that double looped band. Okay, once you've done that you're going to take a holding hook or a toothpick or something, doesn't matter, and you're going to stick it through the bottom set just so that that double loop band doesn't come back through. Okay, just to hold it there. Push it down. Now you're going to grab your eye color. Okay, I'm using blue. Gonna wrap it around the hook, creating four loops. Then grab black. Wrap it around your hook, creating four loops. Once you've done that, you're gonna take one loop of the eye color over around onto the other side of the black. Then you're gonna grab the second loop also over on the other side. All right, so the back looks like a crisscross, the front looks nice. Then you're gonna grab the end that's being held by your holding hook grab those loops back onto your hook. Just like that. All right, so that is one eye. You're gonna make a second one, all right? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull two bands through everything. So like, if this is my eye, put two bands on your hook and pull all the bands onto that band. Actually, I'll, I might as well show you now. 
All right, so in order, so first the two brown, then the blue, then the black, then the blue. Whoops, see, it gets messed up sometimes. Darn. Ah. It happens. Sorry, guys. It's fixable, though. Mm -hmm. First time that happened to me. Alright, anyway, let's try that again. <laughs> Pull everything onto those two body color bands. Okay, so it's like that, okay? Then you're gonna put that aside, okay? You're gonna make your second eye, so go back and make the second eye. Do -do 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 just like I just did. Okay, so you made, let's say you just made your second eye. It's on your hook. You're gonna take the first eye with the two bands that are through it. You're gonna grab the two bands with your hook, put your fingers through the, finger through the other two ends like this, and you're gonna pull that second eye over onto those two bands. Just like that. And you can twist it so the good part of, the, of both eyes are facing the same side. Alright, then what you're going to do is you're going to place one end of the loops around this peg here and the other end around the opposite peg. You're going to put, pull the eyes down, spread them apart. You have the four, what looks like four bands in between them. You're going to grab two of those bands and you're going to pull them around this peg. Okay, not this peg, this peg. Okay, then you're going to push the eyes so the eyebrows are down. So push the eyes down. Roar. Okay, we can always like adjust that later if we have. <laughs> okay, now we're going to take two bands of body color, put them right there, and now we're going to take a double looped single right there, and double looped single here, double looped single here, and now we're going to make our nostrils, so grab a black band, wrap it five times around your hook, so create five loops with it, same thing with the second one. Take a double looped, is that double looped? Yeah, double looped body color onto your hook and pull the nostrils onto that band. Place the ends of the loops, one on this peg, one on this peg. Spread the nostrils apart. and lift two of the four bands over that peg. Okay. And now, as we loop up, we're going to be attaching the teeth, and we will also be attaching the lower jaw. Okay, so go under your capping band, grab the top set of double looped bands, loop over, grab the next set, loop over, and we can grab the bottom, loop up, Loop up, loop up, go underneath the eye bands that are around this peg, grab these stripe bands, there are three of them. Next set of bands, there's three of those as well, up to here, okay? We're going to loop up once on each side down here. Okay, grab your holding hook with the teeth on it. We're going to put one tooth onto this peg. I mean, onto those bands, sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. All right, same thing over here. Pull the tooth on. Same thing we were doing with the lower draws. It's the same exact concept. Loop up again on each side. Oops. Attach. Next tooth. Replace. 
please. Loop up once more on each side. Whoops. All right, now I'm going to loop up these two and these two. You're going to grab your lower jaw and you're going to turn it so it's upside down so the teeth and tongue are facing down. You're going to go through the set of the body bands that are being tied off on this side. So go through the loops. This is just like we did with the tongue. Go through the loops, not between the loops, through the loops. Wrap those bands right around this peg and loop up the set. Then go through the, lo the loops on the opposite side. Those go around this peg. Loop up these two. Then you're gonna pull the jaw down and loop up these three stripe bands. And then we are gonna go through the middle set in the lower draw and wrap those bands right around this peg. All right, now we have to dig down and we have to find these two diagonal bands from in here. So we're gonna dig down. Found one. Let's find the other one. Sometimes it takes a minute. Found the other one, okay. And you want to go grab the other two. Ooh, looks like I grabbed the wrong bands, which happens sometimes, so give me a minute. You're going to see all my raw mistakes in this video because I do not have movie editing software on my computer, so you'll just have to deal. Ha -ha. Sorry, I'm a perfectionist. I have to make sure I grab the right bands. So anyway, that's wrapped around. Again, I'm just, all I'm doing right now is I'm just finding those bands, so don't feel like I'm... Oh, oh. Don't feel like I'm doing anything sneaky. I'm not. I'm just looking for the bands to wrap around. Don't worry about what I'm doing. Just just find the bands and wrap them. <laughs> Cause I am um being a perfectionist with my thing. Okay. So you looped up these diagonals and these diagonals. That's all I did there. Okay, so don't panic. Loop up these neck bands. Alright. And then once we've done that, we are gonna tie off this end and this end. And then you can pull off gently. So use your hook to help you.
feet. So here is his head. You might want to push the eyes out with the eyebrows. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, very cute. All right. You can take off the three jaw, the three bands around the jaw. Do not take off the two around the bottom of the neck, though. Okay. Very very important. Okay, so there is his adorable little head. Roar! Okay, so put that aside, and now we're going to work on his little arm. So, take three of your body color, take two of your stripe color. Now we are going to double loop a body color. We're going to take another body color and wrap it around this peg, creating five loops. Okay. Go down and loop that up. Just that one, okay? Now we're gonna take another double looped body color and then a double looped stripe color, double looped body color, double looped body color here, and another one here. All right, I'm going to take a claw color, which is black for me, Wrap it around your hook, creating five loops. Then grab a body color and double loop it onto your hook. Pull those bands onto that double looped band. Reclaim the loop onto your hook and wrap those right around here. And the reason we're doing it this way instead of on the loom is because if we wrap the capping band around on the loom, it's gonna stretch out. So this is a way to keep it from stretching out. So we're doing the same thing, wrapping a claw color around the hook, creating five loops, double looping a body color, pulling that on, and wrapping that right here. Okay, just like that. And then we're gonna dig down and loop up these bands, and these bands, and go up, all the way up. All right, grab a tying band to tie around this end. Okay. Okay, so here's one of his little hands. Very cute. With his little elbow on it. You want to make a second one. Okay, so you have two of them. Okay, two little arms. So put those aside. Now we're gonna work on the legs, and we're gonna make the legs 3D. Okay, so they are bulky and they pop, okay? So just follow me, we're taking two body colors. Again, two body colors here, two body color here. We're gonna take two stripe color, and two body color here, and two body color here. We're gonna double loop body color, double loop body color, double loop again toward the center, same thing on the other side, double loop, double loop, double loop to the center, cap off, you can wrap it around creating four loops or five loops, I like to do five. Oh, these two should be um, stripe color, sorry. This one should be a stripe color. My apologies. I'll just replace that. All right, so pull it down, replace this one. All right, replace that. All right, now we are taking two bands here. Double loop a body color and double loop another one. So the only, we have all body color here except for the this these three, okay, are your stripe color. All right, so we're gonna loop up, dig down under the capping band, grab the bottom, I mean the top two, sorry, not bottom two, next two, and bottom two. All right, I'm just gonna loop all the way up each column. 
Okay, grab your tying bands. We're just going to tie off each of these ends. You want to make two of these, one for each leg. All right. So do that now. Make two of those. Okay. Right now we're going to work on the rest of the legs. So we're taking two body color, two body color here, and then two here, two stripe color here, double loop a stripe color, uh, that's not a stripe color, <laughs> double loop a stripe color here, and a stripe color here, take two body color, and two more. Then I'm going to take three of my body color, wrap another body color around this peg, creating five loops. Okay, loop up just these three bands, and then you're going to push down on, on them, okay? Now we're going to double loop body color here and here. And here and here okay take three of your body color we're putting them right over these okay then take three of your stripe color okay now we're gonna take a body color double loop it right onto that peg take a nail color which is black for me Wrapping it around this peg, creating five loops. Once you've done that, you're going to just loop up just that and push it down. All right, three body color. And three more. And now I'm going to double loop body color once twice, three times, wait, why is that like that, hold on, oh, uh, what did I do, hold up, sorry guys, you will be needing these, I accidentally, these three, yay, these three are going to go around here. I don't know why I miss, missed that. Man, I'm not doing too good today. Three there, three there. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Good thing I caught that. Now let's do our toe. So double loop, double loop, double loop. Okay, double loop here. And double loop here. Double loop here. And here, and we're going to take one and we are double looping across these two. Take another one, double looping, cre creating a triangle there. Another one, double loop here, and grab two. Those are going to go here. Those are not double looped. All right, we're going to make our claws. So grab a claw color, wrap it around your hook, creating five loops. Double loop claw color onto your hook. Pull bands on. Replace the loops. Grab another double looped band onto your hook. Pull those onto there. Reclaim your loop. Okay. This is a claw. We're going to attach it right onto this peg. If it's curved, you want it to curve downward. Right, We've got to make two more. So again, wrapping a claw color, creating five loops. A double looped claw color to your hook and the second one wrap right around here one two three four five double loop oh.
that around here, all right? Then we're gonna loop up double looped bands, these bands, here, and here, these, 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 grab these three, there's three here, there's also three here, Three here, three here. All right, here, we're gonna grab one of these uh, muscly thingies we just made before, you should have made two of them. Go through the capping band. Okay, so you have all five loops around your hook. You're going to wrap those right around this peg. Then we are going to dig down and find this set of bands. Okay, so dig down. one of them. There's the other one. All right, grab the second one. Okay, we're going to loop up down from down here. Loop all the way up this one. Okay, we're going to loop up once on each side. So once here and once here. Okay, we're going to lift up this muscle and what we're going to do is you have your stripe color right here, and then you have a body color right below it. We're going to go through the bands on the side of, because it makes like kind of like a loop. Grab the bands on the side, okay, so when you open it, it looks like a hole here, All right? You're going to wrap those around this peg. Then you're going to loop up to the top. Same thing on the other side, so the set of bands right below the stripe. Go through them and wrap them around this peg. Loop up to the top, and then we're going to wrap our loose ends around the end. So the set goes around this end. This set goes around the middle, up here. And the final set goes wrong around this one here. Right, you're going to grab a tying band of another color. So I'm going to use white. Okay, You have one color here, use a different color to tie it here. So I'm just going to pull a white band through all of the bands at the end. All right, and now once you've done that, you should be able to take this off. And it should come out to be a pretty adorable looking 3D leg. Just be careful, because you don't want to snap any of the double looped bands, especially. Those are very important to the project. All right, so you pulled it off. Here's your 3D leg. You can pull that back claw outward. Same thing with the elbow. And what we want to do is we're going to take off the pink bands. We just tied around the white bands. We're going to take off the pink. That's why I wanted you to use two colors so that it's easy to tell. Okay. Now you're going to go back and you're going to use that other muscle you made to make your second leg. You can make it exactly the same as the one as this one. All right, so you should have two legs. All right, so go ahead and do that. Okay. All right, so now that we've made our legs, our head, and our arms, we are now going to make the body. Yay! Body we are doing in two parts. Okay. Ooh, this is a long video. Okay. We're going to take two of our stripe color and two body color and two body color 
to stripe color, to body color, to body color, to stripe color, to body color, to body color, to stripe color, to body color, and to body color. All right, we're gonna take two more body colors, stretching it from here to here. So we're not going here to here, we're going here to here. So we're over stretching, and we're gonna take two stripe color, okay? Two body color, two body color, two stripe color, two body color, two body color, two stripe color, two body color, two body color, and two body color here to here. Okay. I'm going to grab two of my stripe color and I'm going to go from here to here. So I'm over stretching again. Same thing I did up here. I'm doing right here. All right. And you're grabbing two of your body color. And two more. And two stripe color. And then two body color, which we are over stretching like this. All right, we're gonna do our horizontals. So grabbing two of your body color at a time. Okay, now we are gonna double loop single body colors like this. Okay, now you're going to take your guy's head and you're going to, it's right side up, okay? Don't face it this way, face it right side up, okay? You're going to go through the brown loops or the loops of the stripe color, okay, on this side, okay? And you're going to wrap that right around this peg here, okay? So the other side is hanging off, you only wrapped this side. You're going to grab your guy's arm. Grab one of the arms, doesn't matter which one, go through the loops. And that you're going to put right on here. Okay, so I just wrapped the arm around there. So the elbow is facing that direction, okay? All right, we're going to begin to loom this guy. So grab the top two from under the neck thing. Loop those over. Grab these two. Loop them up, then you're going to dig down and find these two, okay? The two diagonals. Whoops. Loop those, okay? I'm going to go up, all the way up this side. And up here, okay? Now I'm going to go up here, so grab the bottom two, loop up. up to here, okay? Stop here. So we looped up to here and up to here. All right, I'm gonna loop all the way up this final row on the side. Up to here, okay? All right, you're gonna grab one of your legs and you're gonna hold it so the elbow and the back toe are facing down. You're gonna go through all the bands here, okay, that, that are being tied off here. There's like four of them, so there's like eight loops you have to go through. So just slowly and taking your time, follow your tying band through all those loops and you are going to wrap them right around this peg that we loomed up to. Carefully, it's a little tricky because it's a thick set of loops. Okay. Once you've done that, you're gonna go all the way down, loop up the two stripe bands. Then you're gonna go through the center set of eight bands. So follow your tying band through all the loops. 
and then wrap them around this peg. Then go down and loop up the two body color up to here. And then we're gonna go through our final set. So go through those eight bands following the tying band through. And that we are wrapping around that peg. All right, and then we can dig down, loop up here. Then don't forget the sky, we wanna loop up here and then these two. And then we are going to tie off the end here. This is half of his body, so when you take it off, it's gonna look a little weird, so don't, don't be discouraged. That's supposed to look weird. Okay, there's half of his body. Okay, we can take off the tying band right here. Okay, don't take off this one. You need this one still. Take off the one around the arm. And you should be able to take off the three around the legs. Hopefully I wrapped them around correctly so nothing will fall apart. Looks good so far. And if you didn't get all the loops, you can always pull a band through the ones you missed and just tie it into the back of the body. So don't panic. Okay, so there is half the body. So now we're gonna do the other half, okay? So put him aside. And pretty much we're doing almost the same exact thing. We're doing it on the opposite though. So two stripe color, followed by two body color, and two body color again, two stripe color, two body color, two body color again, two stripe color, two, <coughs> two body color, two body color, two stripe color, two body color, and two body color. All right, grabbing two body color. Oops. And we are going from here to here. So again, make sure you're overstretching, not here to here, here to here. Okay. And two stripe color. Two body color. Two body color. stripe color, two body color, two body color, two stripe color, two body color, two body color, and two body color like this. Alrighty, now we're going to grab two stripe color. That's gonna go from here to here, so overstretching, okay? Then we're gonna grab two body color. And two body color. Two stripe color. Two body color. Two, and we are overstretching with the body color. Oh wait, no. Sorry, these two we are overstretching like that. Okay. All right, so grab two at a time for your horizontals. Okay, we are double looping here and here and here. And here and here. Okay. Grab your dude. Now, the band on the end of the neck that we didn't wrap around anything, that's what we're wrapping. So go through those bands and wrap them right here. Okay. Then you want to grab your guy's arm, the other arm we didn't use. Go through the loops and we are wrapping them around this peg here, All right? Okay, so just follow me. I'm gonna go down grabbing the top two, looping them over, looping up these, okay? 
And we want to go down and grab the two diagonals. Okay, loop up these. Up to there. Now we're going to go up this row. Up to here. Okay. Now grab your other leg. So we're going to do the same thing. I just turned my loom upside down. So your elbows are facing down. Go through the eight loops on this side. So follow the tying band through wrapping them around this peg. Okay, once you've done that, you're going to loop up those. Okay, don't worry if it comes up because it's attached, so it should be all right. Now, be careful, don't pull up the leg because then it'll come off. But Go follow through again for the next set. here. So we're just doing the same thing we did on the other part. Just it's We're doing the same thing. That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to confuse anybody. Right. Okay, and then we want to go through the final set of loops. Wrapping them around this peg here. Okay, now I'm going to go down and I'm going to loop up here and up here. All right, now we got to put some loose bands on the end here. So grab your body color. We're going to lay a band right onto this peg. Once we do that, we're going to loop up these two, okay? Lay another loose band on the next peg. Loop up. Okay, these are how we're going to connect the body together. Another loose band here. Loop up. Another one here, loop up, another one here, <clears throat> loop up. Sometimes they're a little bit stubborn. Okay, another one here. Don't worry if your tying bands get in the way because we're going to take them off after we pull this off. Another one here. Right here, we're going to loop up the diagonal first, and then this, okay, and then we're just going to loop up this final set. And you're going to tie off the end, as usual, big surprise, and you're going to pull this off. Okay, so he has a head with two sides of a body. Okay, we're going to pull off all the tying bands except the ones here at the end that we just put on. So around the neck, around the arm, the three around the leg. Okay, then what we're going to do is all these loose bands, we're going to pull out this direction. All right. Okay, now this is how we're going to sew the body together. We're going to turn him upside down, okay? You're going to grab your hook, okay? You have the loose bands on one side and not on the other side, okay? We're going to go through. We have our stripe bands right here. I'm going to go through the set of the caramel bands, the body color, right below that, okay? So it looks like I'm going through four bands there, okay? Again, I'll show you that again. You have your striped band and then the colored bands below it, okay? We're concentrating on this row, the inside row, okay? So I stuck my hook through those bands. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the first loose band from the other side through those bands, like that. 
Okay, then we're going to go through the next set down, pull the next loose band through. Try to hold the body kind of close together so that the bands don't come back through. Go through the striped bands, pull the next loose band through those. Oops, I just grabbed the wrong one. <laughs> so we're going to go down, doing the same, same thing. Just pulling the bands through. Not Try not to pull too far because we don't want these bands to be stretched out too much. Okay, so just pull through. Okay, until you reach the last set, which is right above the, the stripe band. So this was the last set. All right, now what we're going to do, I'm going to turn my guy, take your hook and go through the first loop that you went that's through the bands. Then you're going to grab the second loop and you're going to pull that second loop through the first loop. So now your hook is holding the second loop. Grab the third loop with your hook and pull that through the second loop. So now your hook's holding the third. Grab the fourth, bring the fourth through the third. Grab the fifth, bring the fifth through the fourth. Bring the sixth through the fifth. The seventh through the sixth. The eighth through the seventh. The ninth through the eighth. The tenth through the ninth. And the eleventh through the tenth. Okay, so I kind of sewed it together. Now what I'm going to do with this final loose band, I'm going to take my hook and I'm just going to kind of go through some bands in here somewhere. It doesn't really matter where you go. Just go through a bunch of bands. You're going to take that loose band, pulling it through those bands. Then you're going to take a C clip or an S clip, any clip doesn't matter the shape really. And you're just going to put it around the band and it'll help keep it there, right? So now you can see that if you squish him together, he has volume to him and we will be adding a stomach onto him. But first we wanna finish off his tail. All right, so let's do that first. So put him aside and let's do his little tail. I am going to take a double loop of the striped color, like that, double loop body color, double loop body color, double loop stripe color, double loop body color, double loop body color, and you're going to take three stripe color. Three body color, three stripe color. I mean, I'm sorry, <laughs> three body color. I don't know what I'm saying. Three stripe color, three body color, three body color, three stripe color, three body color, three body color, three stripe color. Three body color, three body color, three of your stripe color, then you're going to grab two of your body color, like that, and two here, two here to here and then you're going to double loop a body color and that's going to go between these two. Now you're going to take your T-Rex, you're going to go through the loops of the stripe color, pull off that tying band, 
So your hook is through the four loops. Wrap the loops around the peg and push it down to keep it from coming off. Same thing on the other side. We're going to go through the four loops, pulling off the tying band and wrapping those around this peg. It doesn't matter if he's upside down or right side up right now. It doesn't matter, so don't worry about that. You're going to grab the top two bands from each of these and pull them off. Make sure your hook's holding onto them. Then you're going to double loop one more body color and put them across, put it across these two bands, these two pegs, and then replace those loops back over. If you don't put that horizontal band on, there's going to be a hole in the middle of the tail, which you're not going to like. So I highly recommend you put those there. Then we're just going to loop these, these, and then we're just going to go up the rest of him. Okay, once we've reached the end, we're going to take a body color and we are going to tie the slip knot with the body color. Then we can take off the tail. Alright, so you want to make sure the tail's not all twisted up because sometimes the bands get like twisted up. Mine actually doesn't look bad, so that's good. But you can make sure they're nice and nice looking. What we're going to do with this band at the end is I'm going to go through the body color bands, pull that through one side, then I'm going to go back through the other side of the next set, pulling that through those, kind of like making a zigzag, just pulling it through, it's just so that we don't see that loose end hanging off there. I mean, you can leave it there if you want to, but I like to tuck it in. Right, so as far as you need to go to hide the band. Okay, so that looks a lot better. All right, so now, before we do the stomach, is the perfect time to wire him up. Okay, <clears throat> so I have my 16 gauge wire, which I'm going to be using to stick through the main body, okay? So I'm going to start kind of right here in the base of the head where the brain would be. The little pea-sized brain or however big it is. And I'm just going to go straight down through the body. Now the middle of the body is kind of delicate because we have the um, loose bands that are going through it. So you can kind of make a zigzag, so go through the bands on the one side, then go through the bands on the other side and kind of push it down. At times you'll have to poke the wire through, and I like to pull it out with my teeth a little bit. So you pull it out and then you kind of tug on the bands and stick it back through and go a little further, and just continue down. Pull it through with your teeth, maneuver the bands down, stick it through. It's kind of like a little, little trick. And try to get it so you can't really see it too much. If you like turn, like kind of look at it from all directions and make sure you're sticking it through the middle pretty much. Now you don't really want to go through the double looped bands because there's a good chance that the wire will cut those and then you don't want to cut the double looped bands because there's not a second band there supporting the rest. So. So once you reach the end, you're going to bend the wire back on itself about a half an inch or so. And then you're going to tug the tail back and kind of stick it in through a different set of bands. Okay, just kind of force it back in there. Try to make it so that sharp end isn't sticking out. And then we're going to, he's a little squished looking, so we're going to unsquish him by pulling him out, but you don't want to overstretch him, okay? 
All right, so once you like the way he looks, mine is kind of sloppy. I'm going to fix it later, but because I'm going kind of fast, <laughs> you're going to cut it about the same thing, half an inch from the end, push his head down, bend back, and stick through, back through a different set of bands, hitting it in the head can be a little bit tricky, especially if you've never done this before with the wire. And you can always adjust it, which mine is definitely going to be needing adjustment. Okay. All right, so once you've done that, we can also make his jaw open and close. And the way you would do that is I would use 20 gauge wire for this part. Same thing, you would stick a wire through the bottom draw, maneuver it through the top, and bend the ends, and then, like this guy, he'll be able to open and close his mouth. Okay, so I would definitely recommend you do that. And I also recommend you stick the wire through the legs as well. Again, be careful of the double looped bands in the toes. Alright, so I'm just going to pretend I put the wire through him so that I'm not wasting your time, and then we're just going to make his stomach and attach that. Okay, so... Let's do that now. I'm just pulling the wire back out because I have to fix it later, so. But you should leave yours in. Okay. So I'm going to pretend I still have wire in mine. Okay, so let's do the stomach. So grab your stomach color. For me, that's white. We're taking two at a time. And we're going down eight sets, so. Oops. Whoops. Two, three four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now we're going to go diagonally. So two here, two here, two here. Then we're going to grab our stripe color, brown. So two there, two here, two here. Again, grabbing two of your stripe color here. there, two here, two here, two here, two here, oh, stripe color here, stripe color here, Okay, I'm going to cap off my end, wrapping the band around the pig, creating five loops. Three, four, five. Let's do a horizontal, so grabbing two of your stomach color at a time. Making our triangles. Whoops. Okay, now here we're going to double loop. Double loop your stomach color here. And same thing. right here okay all right now I'm gonna take my body colors and I'm going to lay them on the side pegs okay actually it's probably best to do this as we go yeah let's do that you can lay them on but chances are they're gonna fall off. okay so I'm gonna go underneath capping band placing a band right here and looping up onto that band. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So put one here, loop up to that side. All right, we're gonna loop up the middle. Okay, again, grabbing body color bands on these two pegs. Whoops comes off it's not a huge deal here because it's already attached. More body color.
Okay, and we just need two more. So one here and one here. Okay, let's loop up these two, then these two, then these two, and now I'm going to grab two of my stomach color, so two whites, pulling them through, all those bands and pulling tight, so it's extra secure, and just pull off the stomach. Okay, you're going to pull all the loose bands outward, you're going to grab your T-Rex, Place them upside down, and you're going to lay the stomach on so that the band with the white ends, I mean the end with the white bands, is on the top, okay? You can kind of fold those white bands under like this, okay? So I'm pretty much going to line it up with the bottom of the neck, so right where those striped bands are, line it up with those. Alright, so this is how we're going to do this. This is stomach attachment in a little bit of a more refined way. So, we have all our loose bands on the edges. I'm going to turn my guy around. I'm going to go through the top sets of the striped band here, okay? So it looks like I'm grabbing four bands from the top. You're going to pull through the first loose band on the side through those, okay? Then again you're going to turn him over going through the set of the body color here, pulling the band through there, the next band. All right, you're gonna skip the next one because that's where the arm is, and you're gonna go through the next one. So right after the arm, the body color set there, and pull the next band through there. Okay, so you have three loops through so far. Okay, go through the striped bands from the top, pulling the next loose band through those. Then the body color, then the next body color set. Remember we're staying at the edge here, the bands at the edge, okay? Don't go in here, okay? Then we're going, we're kind of lifting up the leg, going through the body color here, from the top and pulling the band through. All right, and then this last set, we're gonna go through, we have the leg here and this set right above the striped band, I'm just gonna pull it through there. All right, now what I'm gonna do is the same thing I how I sewed the stomach together, I'm gonna do here. So hook through the first loop, grab the second loop with your hook, pull the second through the first, then you're gonna grab the third from under the arm, grab, pulling the third through the second, whoops, and pulling the fourth loop through the third, fifth loop through the fourth, sixth loop, and seventh loop, and eighth loop. Okay. So we have like a loose end right here, right? Hee <laughs> hee. You can kind of keep your finger through that end while you do the other side. So the other side, same thing. We're going to go through the top. So turn them around, go through the striped set. Pull the first set of loose band. I mean, pull the first loose band through that. Same thing. Okay, the third one is the arm, which we're skipping, so go through the next set. Oops, I like, I'm a little bit of a perfectionist here, so I've got to kind of really reach for that one there. Okay. Sometimes the loops might want to come through, just kind of yank them out a little better. Alright, then go through the stripe set. And go through the next set. Now we're lifting up the leg. Now we're going through the striped set here. And the body color after the leg. 
right after the leg, okay? Same thing on this side, so go through first loop, grab the second loop, go under the arm to grab the third. Whoa, what is that? Mm -hmm. Kind of lift the arm up. Sometimes it's a little annoying. This one kind of got to overstretch a little bit. Okay, just continue going down. You got it. Sewing it together. All right, so we have our two loose bands here. All right. And you know what? We have this C clip right here. So I'm just kind of going to pull that down. Okay. So all we're going to do, I'm going to grab the other loose end with my other finger. You're going to lift up the stomach, go through a bunch of bands in the stomach, pulling the loose bands through. Whoops. Through those bands. So it doesn't matter which bands you're going through under the stomach. Oh, you know what? Just you want to make sure it's like hidden underneath, so those loose ends. You're going to grab the other C-clip. And you're going to tuck that in, you know, <laughs> the C-clip. If the other C-clip is going to be sticking out, then, you know, just add that band to the other C-clip. Might as well, right? Might as well. But it's okay to have two C clips. It's totally fine as long as you you know it's hidden. All right, so. Bands are in the C clip, you can tuck the C clip in, and then you squeeze the stomach, and yay, it pops. And then these loose bands at the top, you can kind of just pull them into the stomach. Those two white bands, yay! And you can kind of pull the arms out a little bit, you can wire up the arms as well. There is your adorable T Rex. So, wire up what you want to wire up. Okay, his mouth open is really wide because I didn't put wire in it, but yay, he's so, so cute. There's your other little, little dude. You should wire up his legs too so you can pose them like this guy. He's sitting really, really cute, okay? So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And Angela, I hope that you and your daughter totally made this guy. And uh, definitely post pictures of him on Instagram and Facebook, especially if you made him in other colors that I did. I would love to see. All right, great way to get rid of those extra bands that you don't know what to do with. Okay, so dinosaurs can be any color. Roar. Okay, everybody, so I hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for your patience, and I'll see you on Instagram and Facebook. Yay! <clears throat>